Africa's travel in Daba takes place annually at the beautiful province of KwaZulu-Natal with the aims to create a platform of trade of African products among African countries. Now, this exhibition show takes place for three days that is led up by what is known as the Business Opportunity Networking Day, the Bond Day, with the purpose of also providing a marketplace for the exchange of knowledge, thought leadership and access of local and global insights in business. The proceedings of the development uh, of the Bond Day program involves a close collaboration with international tourism groups, specialists from the continent and industry associations. For hi to a very good evening. My name is Tabo Malukwani. Welcome to this special broadcast of this year's Africa Travel in Daba under the Houting Tourism Authority wing to give us a vicarious showcase of a three-day trade exhibition show of Houting's exciting contributions and business opportunities that guarantee the future of tourism and business in Africa. Now, KZN Premier Nomusa Dube Nguba welcomed those in attendance and highlighted the importance of tourism in the country. Let's take a listen. Our continent's biggest tourism trade show. We wish to welcome you all on this beautiful city that never sleeps. I guess it is no coincidence that Africa's travel in Daba takes place in the month of May. May is a very significant month for Africa. It is a time when the continent connects to commemorate the founding of the Organization of African Unity, the OAU, the forebear to African Union. This is where the principles of African continent free trade area were hashed, anchored on pillars of one Africa that trade with itself, a continent that is obvious to the artificial boundaries and borders that creates barriers for intra-Africa tourism. Now, the Premier also highlighted on the challenges that the country faced uh, since the dawn of democracy, highlighting how resilient the country was by overcoming all those challenges. With this year's Africa Travel in Daba, where it takes place at the time when our country is celebrating 30 years since the dawn of democracy, which was ushered in a new era and assured of our outstanding in the family of other nations. This is a milestone that makes all of us gush with pride as South Africans when we consider the journey that we have traveled in molding this country of ours, the country of our dream. Today, we speak of tourism industry that can hold its own at a global level because of our country's achievement, something that was never there before 1994. We also meet here when the tourism industry was battered by COVID-19 storms, was 90% pre-pandemic recovery levels. By the end of 2023, we now are looking stronger than we were ever before pre-COVID-19. And we really, as the speaker of the municipality has been saying, that we're also working hard to ensure that safety of our visitors is guaranteed. Working with our law enforcement agencies, as well as our business partners and other law enforcement agencies. So we would like to thank all of you, ladies and gentlemen, our visitors, our partners, and all of you for your continued support of the Africa's travel in Daba. And thank you, Minister, for your support in ensuring that we keep South Africa on the map. And indeed, Africa has limitless possibilities, and we must seize the opportunity to ensure that Africa's time is now. And we are very sure and we are guaranteed that together we can do just that in making sure that Africa's time is now.
and you are all most welcome and we wish you all prospective and fruitful deliberations as you go about your business for this week. Thank you. This is what Africa is all about. People coming together, expressing our culture and history in a most compelling manner. For now, let's take a quick ad break. When we come back, we'll look at day two of the Africa travel in Dava. Welcome back. You're still watching the special broadcast of this year's Africa Travel in Daba that took place at the Inkosi Albert Lutuli Convention Center in Durban in the beautiful province of KwaZulu-Natal this past week. Now let's pick up uh, where we left off. At this year's Africa Travel in Daba, the Houteng Tourism Authority, which is the official destination marketing agency for the Houteng City region, impressed travel and tourism buyers, exhibitors, wholesalers with a new showcase of the province's top-notch sports and music tourism offerings. My name is Khumut Sopawe. I'm owner and founder of Soweto Hop On and Hop Off. Uh, we specialize in doing Soweto tours, especially how township people get on and off the taxi. Kulawana, everybody stands on a corner, gets into a taxi, a hundred or two kilometers down the road, they get off the taxi. That's exactly what we do. So all our customers are able to get off any experience we have within Soweto, whether it's the Towers, get off, spend an hour, Hector Peterson, get off, spend an hour, Villa Gaza Street, get off, spend an hour, but the buses keep coming back on the circuit. So we have buses that run from Gold of City into Soweto on the hour, every hour. So generally we just put, put in Soweto onto the market with our international buyers and anybody that's actually interested in the Soweto brand. So, I mean, our meetings that we hold here, we tell the experiences, we tell the internationals, what are the areas to find in Soweto? Not just on our routes, but on holistically encompassing Gauteng. Once they leave us, where can they party? Where can they go for these type of activities? So we're able to sell and market Soweto, Johannesburg, and Gauteng as a province. Now, Baba Hao Haneliwe, who is the Chief Marketing Officer at the Gauteng Tourism Authority, shared his excitement for the exhibition, saying that it has given them an opportunity to, instead of traveling to all the 26 countries that were at the exhibition, to showcase Gauteng products and services that was a chance to do so and speak to all markets at once. With that, Hao Haneliwe emphasizes that the agency being there was to reinforce through the Amapanyaza wardens that there is a fight of a concerning issue of crime and grime in the province of Gauteng to ensure that it not only remains a world-class destination but it is also a free of harm and it is visitable to remain the epicenter of business and tourism. I'm well, quite excited to be finally back here at Africa's Travel in Daba. You'll remember there has been a period of four years where traders, especially SMMEs, couldn't trade because of COVID, and now they are here. We have more than 40 SMMEs that are situated here in our stand. Some are in the hidden gem uh, spaces. Primarily as visit Gauteng, we are here to, one, reaffirm the travel trade, the people that are packaging and selling South Africa abroad. We have more than 26 African countries and overall we have 56 countries represented here. So if we were to travel to all of them one by one, we would not have the budget and the resources to do that. So Africa's travel in Dawa gives us an opportunity to speak to all this market at a go. So we're here, one, to reassure them that Gauteng is a safe and visitable destination. We have a mirage of products that include uh, wildlife, to sporting, to musical excellence. We are also the birthplace of humanity. We have brought in the crime prevention wardens that are here. You'll know that Premier recruited close to 3,000 crime prevention wardens. These are recruited from the, our own communities, and it's young women and young men that are dedicating their lives to fight the scourge of crimes. They have now been joined by 2,000 military veterans who are coming with their own experience. So to them, together with our traffic officers, together with the Metropolis, and South African police services. We feel that we will have enough boots on the ground to help us fight crime and crime. But this will require community involvement. This will require us in communities to understand that if I snatch a bag in Villagazi Street of a tourist, I'm roping this mama who's selling the artifact, who's selling the food, an opportunity to make food on the table, but also take their children to school. So it's important also for communities to appreciate the, 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 the value of tourism. 
But Africa travel in Dava in a, in, a, in a nutshell gave us an opportunity to also reassure international markets that we have recovered from COVID. As the minister indicated, Africa is rebounding very well. So we need to encourage inter-Africa uh, travel. In Gauteng, we are quite uh, 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 immersed with uh, breathtaking townships. Of the top 20 most populous townships in the country, over 15 of those uh, 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 townships are housed in Gauteng. So Gauteng is the home of townships. So township economies at the heart of what we do. It's not something that sits aside there, it's in our DNA. So our food, our music, our authentic uh, ex experiences set us aside. Villagasi Street is the only street in the world where two Nobel laureates live side by side and greeted each other. It's the only street in the world which is now featured uh, uh, in, in, in Africa in a monopoly, the new, the new version found in, 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 in the townships. Hi, my name is Lindy Lengobo. I'm from Linesia South. Um, I'm here as a crime prevention warden employed by the Department of Community Safety. Um, so what we do as crime prevention warden we're working hand in hand with other law enforcement agencies. I'm talking um, about South African police services um, and all of them. Uh, so we're making sure that we are deployed everywhere in Gauteng, more boots on the ground. <laughs> so um, working hand in hand with them in ensuring that we are, um, Gauteng remains crime free. The CEO of the Houghton Tourism Authorities, Tembiso Tlamini, stated that it was critical to have Houghton Enterprises present at the exhibition in order to provide them with the market access and to connect them with both domestic and foreign consumers. Let us hear what she had to say on this. Uh, Houghton Tourism Authority is the agency of government we are in the uh, Department of uh, Economic Development. Uh, our role is to promote Gauteng as a premier destination for both uh, business events uh, as well as leisure, um, uh, you, you know, for those that want to come and, and, you know, for holiday. We've got a huge interest in enterprise development within the tourism industry. And our, our goal really is to transform the industry, is to ensure that we've got new entrants uh, in the industry, whether it's tour operators, whether it's product as in an experience, whether it's accommodation, you know, someone owning a BNB, uh, and or any other experience that they would want to curate. This is a platform that we bring them. We give them market access. We link them up with international buyers uh, and domestic buyers so that when they do itineraries and they sell the destination, they're able to include those, um, you know, in the in the in the um, in the itineraries. On to this now, good news for Houtengas. We spoke to the Houtrain Management Agency CEO, Tepo Kobe, about their plans to expand and enhance the bus service. Now speaking at the exhibition, Kobe revealed that Houtrain Phase 2 will now expand to the likes of Soweto and Mamilodi, forms part of the plans uh, to incorporate a tourism experience. Let us take a listen. So the first 100 days have been interesting. Um, it's been a mixed bag. It's uh, a lot of familiarity. Uh, I've been in the company for the last 10 years, so it makes it easy for me to be able to just go from one role to the other. Uh, but at the same time, it's a completely different job. When you think about it, it's, 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 it's about you now steering the ship. It's about changing what must happen next and think through future plans of the company. You're no more thinking about just only the immediate plans, but you have to think about the long-term plans. And the long-term plans are all about where are we going and where should we be, uh, what should we be thinking about? And, and, and that has become much more important. Soweto is actually the first expansion line. So we, with the Soweto line that will start um, at Santin, with Santin 2 station going through uh, Renberg, uh, and from Brandberg, it will go through Cosmos City, uh, Little Falls. And then from Little Falls, then we will get to um, Rodoport and ultimately to Jabulani. Uh, it will, the, the station actually lies exactly between Jabulani Theatre and the Jabulani Mall itself. Um, but that is the long-term takeoff for uh, the line that goes down the south in, in, in Gauteng. So we're actually finalizing. I mean, I was looking at renders uh, recently uh, of what the whole of the uh, Jabulani precinct 
uh, with the theater in it and the mall will look like long term wise. So we're really looking at detail. We're looking at, at the level of design detail that that actually then um, gives us a whole lot more of a thought of what will this look like. We're looking for a greater transformation. We're looking for everywhere where Houtren has gone, it has transformed the way people work. It has transformed the way people play. It has, it has transformed the way people live. Why can't that happen in Soweto? Anybody who asks me why go to Soweto, I always tell them, I want you to drive to Soweto in the morning. Soweto in the morning is a parking lot more than anything else. They, all the roads are full and uh, there is demand. Uh, there is pent up demand in Soweto and we are clear about it. Uh, when the numbers were developed, they were developed, it, it, when we were looking at the demands in, and, and all of that, it was clear that the Soweto line has the most number of passengers that actually need to, to, to go to areas like Santin to the airport, but without going through uh, the city center of Johannesburg. Now, seasoned entrepreneur and musician Smoothie Solo, popularly known as DJ Zbu, spoke about the importance of young people's presence in this exhibition, talking about the importance of exchanging ideas and networking with entities so that they can be able to uplift their businesses. All these um, places are very significant and important for entrepreneurs, especially the ones that are still starting out. That's why you must belong to some sort of organization and understand your industry. It's not only just you operating in, a, in us operating in silos and just being um, focused about our bottom line and our business and our staff and our team and making money, but it's also being a part of the bigger picture and what the government is trying to do. Um, I'm impressed that we've been hosting this for over 10 years. The, uh, it used to be tourism in Daba, it used to be Kezeran or Durban tourism in Daba, but now it's Africa travel um, in Daba, which is incredible. It's got entrepreneurs who are in the sector from all over the continent, and it also has got other people from all over the world. So if maybe you own a guest house, you own a lodge, you own apartments for rental, I'm in real estate, I'm in rental, I own rentals, I own um, properties, and a space like this for me is so conducive and positive because I meet other people who are doing similar work in Kenya, in Nigeria, and other countries. So. There's always uh, an opportunity for you to link with someone else and you find that uh, you guys are like-minded and you end up growing your business even into other countries. You never know what yeah. might just come out of these types of things. But I was obviously brought in here by the SABC, broadcasting from here in the morning through Radio 2000. Yes, my team has left, but I'm still here because I'm networking, I'm an entrepreneur, and I've met a couple of great people. Um, I've exchanged some business cards and I'm seeing um, other younger entrepreneurs out there taking advantage of spaces like these, not only in tourism. It doesn't matter whatever industry you're in, but find out more about your own specific industry so that you get to also understand some of these types of things that the government does for our small businesses and entrepreneurs. Yes, we complain a lot about some of the work that they could be doing more, but there are these types of things that they do, but we don't know. So knowledge is everything. So be knowledgeable, know about your sector, do research, understand what government is um, doing in your sector, in your in your space. And when you do hear about these types of things, you probably mean who didn't save you for it, don't you like, Pella? That's your problem. You could be just coming all the way down for something like this, and you can never know. You might just meet somebody who might end up taking your business globally. You end up becoming a multi-millionaire in dollars just because you decided to use the same trip, the same amount of money you could have gone to the Devon July and spending it in an environment like this. I'm just joking, guys, but you guys do know that it's facts. We love Monati more than things that can grow us, and then we just complain, complain, complain. But there is a lot of opportunity, especially for business people. And it's nice to start seeing these types of events because back in the day, these types of indabas no So it does show that the sector is changing, but I do know more entrepreneurs out there need, need to be here. Now, Sobantu Sihanga, who is a representative of the newly founded hotel in Soweto, the Orlando Hotel, spoke about the importance of enhancing township economy. He says Orlando Hotel is an example of that as it promotes township services and businesses. So our hotel offers 131 rooms, whopping 131 rooms. Um, it's, it's, it's quite small. We just acquired it in December. However, we're trying to make it authentic in that a lot of people that look for the word hotel in Soweto would want to find the authenticity in it, right? And they would get that already in Santin, places like Santin, Rosebank. But what we try and do in our hotel is put classy flavor in it, right? And we started with our restaurant. So our restaurant is the only one that offers Makwenya daily in the mornings, right? And also the outlook of the place, we're trying to make it uh, Soweto and Township as well as 70s and 80s look. 
Yeah. So that's what we offer. We have a conference room that has uh, about 250, no, sorry, 25 chairs uh, at the moment. We're trying to make it look, um, or at least we're trying to make it bigger. Uh, that will be determined by the demand in it. Uh, we also offer outdoor facilities. We have a bas basketball court. We also have dry facilities outside. And we're very secured with uh, surveillance as well as security 24 hours at the place. So yes, please visit us. For now, let's take a quick ad break. We continue after this. Welcome back to this special edition of the 2024 Africa's Travel in Daba that took place in Durban this past week. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. My name is Tabo Malukwani. Now the Houting Tourism Authority's Ntabi Ngadimeng, who is the message architect in the organization, said that it brought 30 small businesses to come and exhibit their products in aims to support them and because it believes in doing this from lower echelons upwards. Let us take a listen to what she had to say. An absolute privilege to be here. So we've brought 30 SMMEs as well to come and showcase their products. So if anybody is here, you know, when they come to, um, you know, in Daba, whether it's this year or years to come, always check out for our SMMEs. We really do strongly believe in supporting from grassroots upwards as a Gauteng Tourism Authority because we believe that we contribute towards South African tourism as a total. The truth is the sum total of the country is its nine provinces, but I'm not going to talk about the other provinces because I am pro Gauteng for uh, many, many reasons. But we're not just promoting the SMMEs, we're also here to promote the lifestyle, the culture. You know, I think a lot of people look at Gauteng and a lot of people come to Gauteng for, for work and for businesses but there's a lot of lifestyle and culture that we give so a little later on unfortunately the viewers watching won't see it we even having a dance challenge which is Bacardi Bacardi style comes from Pretoria itself we are very grateful for Tyler making it world known with her song water you know that dance that she does that's Bacardi in that song but we'll be showcasing a number of things throughout the week just to show people that we are diverse and uh, we're multilingual and we're just a melting pot of all sorts of deliciousness in Gauteng. So your choice of words is quite interesting. We were open to anybody who's in the tourism sphere. So there wasn't actual restrictions, but what we do have is subcategories of what you need to have qualify for in order to make it in to then, um, you know, being brought on with us. We do, when we take SMMEs, we take them for a period of a number of years so that they can also learn and grow. It's very unfair to bring somebody here for one year and then also to release them. So I think we take them for a period of, th of three years with us and then we then start the cycle again so that we can then give everybody a chance to be here so if you are within the travel and tourism space and you consider yourself an SMME feel free to apply when we open for applications we will let you know if you qualify or not don't disqualify yourself until you've actually applied now Lunga Dromo who is the destination manager at the Johannesburg tourism company cited that it was there to lower guests coming from all over the continent and beyond to get the experience of the city's vast tourism attractions and events. We are here promoting some of the best products in Soweto, ranging from guest houses, DMCs, as well as a NAS product, which is about wine. We are here for the next three days, making sure that uh, the visitors that come to Johannesburg get to experience what the city has from accommodation uh, heritage, arts, culture, and also shopping. Uh, the nice thing as well is in terms of our SMME support, like I'd mentioned, we've got about 10 SMEs that are coming from different parts of uh, Soweto, as well as Alex and a uh, deep town in Johannesburg. As you would know, uh, Johannesburg, mainly people use it as a stopover, but we are here to promote all the offerings that the city has uh, in terms of uh, accommodation, restaurants, festivals and other events that take place in the city and as Johannesburg Tourism like I had mentioned our aim is to grow the SMMEs in the city that are in the tourism industry 
uh, by giving them access to market, which is why we had brought the 10 SMEs that are here for the next three days, being offered an opportunity to promote their businesses to the visiting um, attendees here at the Indaba, as well as the international buyers that South African tourism has brought to this uh, annual show. As Gauteng, we are actually, like I said, you know, people use us as the gateway into the continent. So with our almost 45 airlines that fly into Johannesburg, we are still number one, right, as the province. But obviously in terms of the city, which is Johannesburg, our offerings that range from your arts, culture, heritage, we still have a good share in terms of numbers that are coming into Johannesburg. And also our promotion, which talks to you know the offerings that are in the city we have got partnerships with the red bus we've got partnerships with the tour operators that are here then they get to get the fair share of visitors that are coming into Johannesburg that are coming into the country because I mean as you get into South Africa you first land in Johannesburg and then you get to see the rest of the nine provinces in the country well we in terms of our strategy is to go into other markets, like recently we've just returned from the Arabian tra travel market, which was in Dubai. Uh, a week before we were in Cape Town promoting Johannesburg. And even there we had, uh, we gave an opportunity to 10 SMEs that got to participate and also got to meet their counterparts uh, in the industry, which was a great um, turn out in terms of the attendees at the show and we also anticipate that uh, Indaba will also be a great turnout which will give our SMEs a great opportunity to promote their products and obviously boost their businesses. Yeah. Houteng businesses came in their numbers to mingle, trade and showcase their businesses at the exhibition. Now Soweto Sakumzi Matkubela who runs Sakumzi restaurant which is located at the Vilagazi Street and serves traditional South African dishes was at the exhibition and said that he wanted to use the platform to correct people's outlook about the township through their being there as a Kumzi restaurant. Let us take a listen to what he had to say. Here at Deben Tourism in Daba, I'm promoting Sakumzi, I'm promoting Soweto. Mostly people don't know about Soweto. They know all the wrong elements or they've got a bad perception about locations. So with Sakum's restaurant being here, I am able to speak to outbound top operators, our local top operators to know about Sakumzi and to bring their international tourists to bring also domestic tourism. When people go to Soweto, they're gonna need transport to transport them to Soweto. So you need a tour guide who's gonna be paid. You need someone who's gonna be paid for his transport. Uh, a BNP will have people that are sleeping over. Because after dining at Sakumzi, people do a tour of Soweto and they end up sleeping over in Soweto. I am where I am because of people like your Gauteng Tourism Authority, your South African Tourism who supported us when we were starting. They used to have competitions that one can win so that you can be entitled to come to tourism in Daba, where you get the exposure, where you understand the value chain of what is tourism because you can't just open a tourist place when you don't know who is your client. So with people like your Gauteng Tourism Authority, they are able to educate you. And here at Tourism in Daba, you get to understand all the different departments of tourism. Well, that's where we're going to leave it for now. But uh, when we come back after the ad break, we conclude your final day of the Africa Travel in Daba. Welcome back. You're watching the special broadcast of Africa Travel in Daba. My name is Tabo Mulukwane. We are nearing the end of the show. As we reflect on the 2024 Africa Travel in Daba, recently held in Durban in KwaZulu-Natal. Now, the Minister of Tourism, Honorable Patricia DeLale, gave out her speech outlining what the theme for this year's exhibition was, which she cited as Unlimited Africa which highlights the limitless opportunities the continent has and that await uh, delving into. Now, Dilil also cited and reflected on the country's 30 years into democracy and honored its struggle heroes and the unity that uh, created uh, throughout the African continent in the face of hardship. Now, furthermore, the minister urged everyone in attendance, including buyers, 
and sellers to fully engage with the trade show in order to fully appreciate the diversity and the depth of experiences the African continent has to offer. The theme of the Africa travel in Daba this year is unlimited Africa. And this speaks to our unlimited potential because our continent boasts diverse landscape, cultures, and experience that offer limitless possibilities for exploration and growth. The theme affirms that Africa is not confined by boundaries, but is expansive offerings endless opportunities for discovery and innovation in the tourism sector. Today we meet in a year in which South Africa celebrates 30 years of freedom and democracy. Our country would not have had this milestone to celebrate without the fearless leadership of our struggle heroes and the generosity of people from across the continent who opened their hearts and homes to many of our struggle heroes. I believe it is fitting to quote our dear father of our democracy, Tata Nelson Mandela, who said, and I quote, it is not our diversity which divides us. It is not our ethnicity or religion, or culture that divides us. Since we have achieved freedom, there can only be one division amongst us, between those who cherish democracy and those who do not, end quote. To fully realize the effect of the unlimited Africa, I invite all of you to really explore the trade floor here you will discover the rich, richness and variety of experiences across Africa. You will venture beyond familiar territories, uncover our hidden gems, and embrace new adventures. Together, we represent the story of an, of an Africa unlimited by possibilities. The Africa Travel in Daba has reached groundbreaking achievements this year with the participation of 26 African countries exhibiting this year. The countries represent a total of 344 products, I'm told, that will be showcased, and it's an increase of 14% compared to last year. Also, a special mention go out to Burkina Faso and Eritrea, who jo who's joining us for the first time this year. We look forward to a long and mutually beneficial. <laughs> we look forward to a long and mutually beneficial partnership and wish all our exhibitors every success this year. According to Minister Delil, the tourism sector in South Africa has seen immense growth in the number of visitors across the board. She says that uh, statistics uh, shown by the Statistics South Africa reveals that people who visit uh, from abroad in the first month of the year to March shows a boom in the country's tourism sector. I visited the stands this morning of Africa's hidden gems and well done to all the nine provinces for what you have been able to produce this year. Africa's travel in Daba is truly the tourism master plan that cabinet adopted in September of last year. It is the master plan in motion. Also, this plan includes um, a road map for tourism full recovery from 
the pandemic by facilitating new opportunities in the sector. Last year, we also relaunched the 1.2 billion rand tourism uh, equity fund to support the growth of emerging tourism enterprises. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all here today with one goal, to grow our tourism sector and to do this to collaborating with one another. As South Africa, we are pleased that we have made significant strides in the tourist arrival numbers. And I want to thank all travelers from all over the world and South Africans for exploring our beautiful country and supporting the tourism sector. We are pleased that we've seen arrival figures between January and March uh, 2024 of 2.4 million arriving on our shores. And for the year of 2023, we received 8.5 million visitors. And I want to single out Africa because Africa is leading the way. We've seen an increase of over 75% from our African brothers and sisters and thank you very much. We will make sure that we also encourage South Africans to also visit your country. Africa leads the way. Two countries that stood out in the first quarter of this year is Zimbabwe and Ghana. That has seen a, a remarkable growth. Ghana recorded a 249% increase compared to 2023. Thank you, thank you to our Ghanaian brothers and sisters. And we can see that Ghana's growth and the immense performance of Ghana can be attributed to the fact that between Ghana and South Africa, we no longer need uh, no longer need visas, or you can get a visa for a period of up to 90 days within a calendar year. This is the agreement that we signed with Ghana in November of 2023. And this coupled with a targeted integrated marketing initiative um, executed by South African Tourism, to attract mark, uh, visitors from this market makes it a winning formula for the growth of the sector. And then, of course, travelers from all over the world also continue to show appreciation and love for South Africa. We've seen an increase of 82% of tourist arrivals from China also. On the domestic front, by the end of 2023, domestic trips had already reached over 130% of the 2019 level, with domestic spending also seeing an increase of 80% compared to 2019. South Africans have really gone out with revenge tourism and have rediscovered the love for exploring their own country. And we thank all of our locals for supporting our tourism sector. Thank you very, very much. Before we close off the show, the tourism department says it was on this strong foundation that the country could progress the tourism sector because with assurance, the tourism industry would continue to create opportunities for economic growth, particularly for youth, women, and people with disabilities, while also maintaining that it was imperative that there is sustainability and expansion of this program to ensure inclusivity in our tourism offerings, thereby contributing 
to the growth of the economy. Now, we had the opportunity to speak to those that attended the exhibition showcasing their products, and they did highlight the importance of networking to better their craft, saying that it was all worth it. Let's take a listen. All right, I'm Gavin, Chef Gavin. I'm all the way from Johannesburg. And we were handpicked and nominated to be part of this event. It's been an exciting three days we've been here. Uh, customers has really welcomed us very well. They've taken very good feedback from all their customers with the food. And so far, so good, yeah. We are so happy to be at Indaba. Indaba is huge on business meetings. I've We've never been to a an expo this big. This uh, with, uh, all these meetings yesterday, we were exhausted when we got to the hotel because it was one meeting after the other, not just at our stand, but as well in uh, ICC around here. It was it was really, I only had lunch at like three o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, this is my first time in Ndaba. Um, I'm here for both business and tourism. Um, I want to see how we can expand the relationship between Nigeria and um, South Africa in terms of tourism, in terms of business. Um, I see South Africa used to be one of our big top destinations for Nigerians. Aside um, the UAE and the Europe, South Africa, used, among the African countries, South Africa used to be one of our biggest. And um, in the last years, we've seen how it has grown and uh, we are hoping for that um, the relationship will continue. Most especially um, Durban. Uh, I know most Africans go to Joburg and Cape Town, most especially Nigerians. But my experience right from a week now that I've been here speaks more about the country, which I don't know, especially this particular region, Durban. And I think I'm going back home, I'm going to pitch those particular destinations to, for both tourism, business, name it. It's been amazing. Everybody's friendly and willing to collaborate. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's been an easy experience for my company and I'm, I know we'll get uh, business from this so far. Yeah. Yeah, I've made, uh, I've met very amazing people and uh, co the collaboration that we are working will fine tune to grow my business and company as well. It's amazing being able to see all different like countries, African countries coming together you know, different companies, you know, it's, it's, it's quite a big show and the magnitude of it is actually amazing. I've never heard of it before, so this is my first year. It's an experience that I have developed and I have developed and I have business and I have developed 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 and quality I will be very honest, I have liked the South African business partners. They promise good, good business collaboration. I'm very looking forward to starting working with them. But also the American market, the Americans have shown up very interested and eager to partner with East Africa and Uganda in particular. So I'm also looking forward to such business partnerships, yes. Networking. Yes. Seeing more people, um, exploring everywhere because you don't know until you meet with the people. It's so nice, you know, technology is one thing, clicking on a computer, seeing those photos, but it's a whole other thing to set your time aside to meet with people and have them show you their product. I mean, there are places that we had no idea existed and if it wasn't for Indaba, we would not know. Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. You can't get that far with Googling. Being in person yeah. with people face to face, making relationships through the networking, that's valuable.
On that note, that's how we wrap up uh, your special broadcast of uh, 2024 Africa Travel in Daba. Nakatabo Melukwani and the rest of the team do make sure that you catch us on all social media platforms. It's at Soweto TV across the board. Bahaitu, Lidi Leholekane. It's good night from us and thank you for watching.